Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And we hope everyone is just having a great weekend. Uh, Marie and I, we've had a real good week all week. And uh, we haven't been too busy, have we, Marie? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we've been busy, but not with having to go to doctor's appointments yeah. anyway. Right. But the weather this last week has just been terrible. Uh, it's been extremely hot, and we've been getting pop-up thunderstorms almost every day, haven't we, Marie? Yeah. And so we was planning on going somewhere. We had a place picked out that we was going to go to our Sunday chat this morning, but because we are having pop-up uh, showers today, we didn't want to get out there and get soaking wet, so we're just going to go ahead and do it right here at our workstation, and I think that'll be okay. Um, but like I said, it's really been hot, but there's, you know, there's benefits to it. It helps the garden grow good, don't it, Marie? It's growing, that's for sure. <laughs> it looks like a jungle out there, don't Just it? Just look over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marie, you had some cards that have came in over the last week or two, and you wanted to show a couple of them. I did. Let me get my paper open up. And, um, this one, it's one of, some of the cards are from um, Randy and Alice um, Keeler. Is that how you pronounce that? I think that's probably about right. And uh, they're from Canada, and they have some really um, unique cards that they made for us. This one right here, it says, you know, when I grow up, I'm going to make Cookie Delight, just like Marie on Southern Country Living. That just really uh, tickled me when I seen that. And then over here it says, and I'm going to learn to cook just like Calvin. <laughs> and it's... Um, Two little cute kids on it. <clears throat> That's just so special that she made it um, special for us. For some reason, I'm not able but to open nothing up today. They have a business that they uh, they actually print these greeting yeah. cards. Mm -hmm. And so they printed a few and sent to us. And we really do appreciate those very much. And it says, you can't buy happiness, but you can make Marie's uh, cherry cream. Uh, cheese pie okay and it has the recipe on the back of it I didn't notice that and then this one right here says you can't buy happiness but you can make Kevin's world famous chili and believe me his chili is very good I don't know about the world famous, but <laughs> <laughs> for us, it's world famous. Isn't it's it? good though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I have, she, there's yeah, two, two of them. Two of each one of them. Yeah. yeah. And so I just thought these were so good. And now, those are very special. We appreciate you sending those to us. Yeah. They actually sent them to us as greeting cards that we could send on to someone else. Uh -huh. And so uh, we. We hadn't decided if we want to get rid of them or not. We like them. <laughs> I know. And then uh, they wrote us a letter. And um, it was real nice. But I'm not going to read it on air. But we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Then I got one from Jean Hinkley. And it's a Get Well card. And it says... I don't know if I should have said her last name or not, but hopefully she won't care. It says, sorry you are having uh, problems. Good luck with everything. Jean Hink Hinkley, back problems, that's what she said. And um, there's some cute little birds on the outside of it. And I like to draw, so I'll probably, when I'm sitting around not doing anything, I'll probably draw that. <laughs> 
And then it's she also uh, sent this little book. It says Awaiting Brighter Days, and it's got encouraging uh, little notes on it. It says prayer and praise and the language of compassion, solitude, and different strength for today. Just a little encouraging uh, notebook. And when you're down, sometimes the, those little encouraging words help. <laughs> so when you're not feeling well, you need those little encouraging words. And I like to thank all of our subscribers because you're, you're all very well doing that for me and Kevin. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. Yeah, now this week, uh, I think I mentioned we did not have to go to the doctor this week. Yay. <laughs> but thankfully, the shots that Marie got week before, they did finally start helping her some. Yeah. Now, she is not in as much pain, no. and she's not having to take as much pain medicine. Mm -hmm. But she still, if she walks very far or stands very long, she does start to hurt. And so yeah. uh, you have one of your first appointments next week. Yeah. And so uh, we'll deal with that when next week gets here. We'll <laughs> okay. And so uh, I mentioned about the temperatures being so hot and everything in the garden. Our garden just looks like a jungle out there. It does. But I have went out there and uh, we we cooked squash casserole and ate that. And we gave some squash away. We gave cucumbers away. Yeah. Our cucumbers have got hundreds and hundreds of blooms. Yeah. But I probably only picked about 20 so far. Yeah. And so uh, I don't know if they're just late coming in or what. <laughs> uh, another thing that's really doing good is our rose bushes that I planted out front. And when I first planted them, they had blooms, and those blooms were so pretty, and then they all died and fell off. And I went out there and I deadheaded two of the plants, but I didn't have a chance to deadhead all of them. Yeah. But anyway, they started blooming again about a week ago and I noticed out there Marie yesterday they are just full of blooms they are they look very pretty and uh, and then um, <clears throat> now Addison you just seen that picture of Addison standing beside one of the rose bushes but last weekend uh, we usually see Addison every weekend yeah. but last weekend she was going to Florida yeah, so and she we, was having the time of her life wasn't she we, her little buddy was with her and uh, they played together and they just had fun on that beach. <laughs> yeah, and they sent back some beautiful pictures. Uh, I'll probably share one or two. I'm not going to share them all. Say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. But uh, she did, her mom says she just loved playing in the sand. Yeah. And Addison is an outside girl. She loves doing anything outside. But I noticed the other day when she was down here, she was writing on the sidewalk in chalk. And so she finally got hot enough that she wanted to go in. <laughs> so. it, it don't take long in this weather to get hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, during the week, Cynthia has been watching Addison while her mom works. Yeah. And so Cynthia comes over here and visits with us and she's been coming over and eating and bringing Addison and the other day they shared a watermelon, they shared a cantaloupe and, and yeah. anything that Marie's cooked or that I've cooked, you know, Addison loves to eat just about everything, don't she, yeah. Marie? Yeah. And uh, we're gonna miss her because um, this was uh, Cynthia's last week to watch yeah. her. Next week, she's not going to watch her, give her a week of rest before she starts back teaching. Uh, she is a teacher in high school, and they'll be starting week after next. And school sure is starting back early this year, isn't it? Well, um, it's a lot earlier than, we used to didn't go back until September. September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after Labor Day, after yeah. Labor Day. But she did tell me the students come in the first week of August, yeah. but they have to go in early for you know getting ready for students yeah okay um 
But they do get breaks through the week that we didn't get. Yes. I mean, through the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on our videos that we did last week, we did three videos. And the one we did first was our Sunday chat over at Paris Lake. Yeah. And Marie, I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah, that's our little spot that we like to go to just be like in nature. <laughs> <laughs> we like to see the geese and the duck and... The part that we stay in is shady and mm -hmm. it's just a peaceful little place. We can usually go over there and um, what we like to do is go somewhere and pick up something to eat and go over there and sit in the car and eat it. Yeah. Uh, and you can just sit in the car and just love, enjoy such a beautiful view yeah. and quietness and of course sometimes even geese can get a little loud. <laughs> But I enjoy watching them, yeah. too. I really enjoy the ducks. But they're my favorite. Yeah. yeah. But during our Sunday chat over there, we had quite a few people that stopped by and spoke to us. Yeah. And uh, none of them actually knew us as far as, you know, what we're doing. But this young, two young boys, they look like they might have been in their early 20s. Yeah. And they'd been over there fishing. And as I setting everything up, uh, they stopped to talk to me. And they were just amazed that we were setting up to do a YouTube channel. <laughs> and I noticed that after I got everything set up and we started talking, they had went up there to their truck and they were standing outside their truck looking down there watching us. And they was paying attention to what we were doing, weren't they, Marie? Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the uh, security guard, he stopped by. He usually always stops by every time we're over there. And he likes to speak to us and talk to us a little bit. And because of the heat he he offered us a bottle of water yeah and uh and he does that i think about every time he comes by too mm -hmm. but uh he, he's never fussed at us he's just always curious as to what we're doing <laughs> okay uh the next video that we did last week was actually it was a throwback video but it was very appropriate for this time it was marie's favorite squash casserole and that is an absolutely wonderful squash casserole. Yeah. And I know everybody's got squash coming in in their garden right now. So this is a perfect time to see that recipe and make you a good squash casserole. Which we did, didn't we, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next video we did uh, was meatloaf and squash casserole. And your meatloaf was fantastic i just love that chili sauce on it oh i did too that chili sauce we've never tried that before and that made all the difference in the world it did and on that video what we did it was sort of a new format where mm -hmm. you and i worked together making yeah. the video mm -hmm. and so uh, leave in the comments and let us know your honest opinion how you like uh, the format of that particular video now, on Sunday before, I had talked about doing the little quick videos where I just show, you know, making something real quick with no, no picture of us or anything like that. And most people liked it, but quite a few people said that they don't like that format. They prefer to see us actually doing things. Yeah. And so, uh, so what we did on the meatloaf uh, video, we worked together. It's just like we always do, except you and I both were doing the video. Yeah. And so... Uh, let us know, like I said, in the comments, your honest opinion, how you feel about those videos. Now, normally when we get through a Sunday chat, Marie, we usually start up and we do a video to put out either Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. But this week we were planning on going off today after we did our Sunday chat. Yeah. And we're still going to go off even though we may get rained on a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so what we did, we did our video yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a video already made for this coming week. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you'll see it either Monday evening or Tuesday evening. And I hope you enjoy it because we really had a lot of fun making it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, a great summertime uh, meal. And I think you'll enjoy it because it doesn't involve any cooking. But <laughs> it's really it's really a good little dish. And it's a beat the heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marie, I, I made notes so I wouldn't forget anything. I think I covered everything. Um, run through my notes here again. I think I covered everything. That's not very much. Like I said, we weren't that busy this week. 
But I just thought of something that we didn't talk about, Marie. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you remember this or not, but I believe it was on Wednesday. I went and got a haircut. Oh. <laughs> Let me turn my head this way so y'all can see my hair. Let me get some confetti and throw it on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a, around here, that's a big event when I go get a haircut, yeah. is it? <laughs> Calvin's always wore long hair, even when we were dating. He had his long hair, <laughs> and he still likes to wear it long. I'm, he, I'm surprised he don't have a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I've talked about it. <laughs> and so... Uh, I've got a picture of us when we was in uh, Florida down there at Disneyland and uh, me and Cynthia were sitting there on the bench and you must have took the picture because that's yeah. the only way I would have been in it. Yeah, you look like John Lennon in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I've always loved to wear my hair, but yeah. long, I, I wore it long when I was in high school and back then the Beatles, you know, sort of got the long hair going. Yeah. But then when I was in the military, I had to keep my hair short for six years. Yeah. And so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And so, uh, and then the work that I was doing after I got out of the military, I had to keep my hair short for a yeah. long time. But once I become self-employed and I could do my hair the way I wanted to do it, yeah. I let it get back long <laughs> again. But now that I'm older, uh, what you've seen last week, is about as long as it ever gets yeah. and I try to keep it cut I don't let it get much longer than that but now I have let it get a lot longer in the past yeah. okay enough about my hair what about you Marie you about ready for another haircut <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so mine's still pretty short I don't like it too long not at, not at my age but there's there's plenty of people that do wear it long that are my age. It's yeah. just up to your own personal taste. <laughs> and I know you're wearing your hat today. Yeah. Uh, tilt your head down so the camera can see it. There you yeah. go. Hold it, hold it right there just for a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's her Southern Country Living hat. Yeah. And I love that new logo. Uh, Kim designed that logo for us. Yeah. And I've been putting it on all of our thumbnails. And I may start putting it at the start of our videos when we first start them up. But uh, your hat looks real nice on you, Marie, and it oh, matches that you. shirt real good. Oh, thank so you. So when we go off today, I may wear my hat too. <laughs> Men are not supposed to wear hats inside the house, but they do <laughs> nowadays. But the old days, you didn't do stuff like that. <laughs> no, you would get, you'd get on too quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's about all I've got for right now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we forgot about. I don't think so. I, I want to thank everybody for your wonderful comments. Y'all have really been good about making wonderful comments. And, uh, and a lot of times we display something up here on the corner. And a lot of times people notice what we've got displayed. I don't think you can even see the corner today. But uh, we don't have anything up there today. But we appreciate you noticing when we put things up there. Sometimes if someone sends us something special, mm -hmm. we'll put that up there, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, when people send us gifts, we've, we've decided for right now we're not going to show the gifts uh, on camera like we used to. But the real special cards like this right here, we will show the cards because that don't take very long, does it, Marie? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think that's about all I've got. Like I said, we really appreciate everyone watching. We love each and every one of you. Uh, we do have a prayer book that Marie keeps up with. Mm -hmm. And uh, we both pray for you every single day. And uh, if so if you have a prayer request, be sure and let us know. We'll add it to it. And nothing we love more is when uh, someone will send us a message and say, thanks for the prayers. We're doing better. We appreciate it. That means a lot, don't it, Marie? Yes, it does. It really does. Okay. Y'all have a great week, and we will see you on our next video. Don't forget to be watching. Probably going to do it Monday night, but either Monday or Tuesday night, we're going to have that Beat the Heat video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let us know. Okay. And so we'll see you on our next video. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and y'all have a great Sunday. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to me
to see from up here. 